Okay, what's going on there guys? So here's the Gladius $2,000 underwater drone that they sent me. Mine, the first one had a lot of problems. The second one also had problems. Even though this one functioned correctly, uh, the camera was out of focus and you know, they didn't want to work with me on getting the camera fixed because it was a uh, one they sent for review and I told them, you know what, I'm a hobbyist, just uh, send me the walkthrough, which was really crummy walkthrough on how to do this so a lot of this I just kind of figured out myself um, the camera was completely out of focus and they glued the camera lens all the way around so I ended up taking my glue buster putting some of that on there tedious job of scraping lots of popping clips I mean this was actually a fairly major job to do but you know what it's all good so I uh, just got to make sure that it reseals properly with watertight fitting. There's two O-rings. Shouldn't have any problems being waterproof again when I'm done. I've got tons of parts and screws that all have to go back in. This was quite an undertaking. But now we're going to take this outside and I'm going to show you how I'm going to refocus it. I had to design a special box because the clip where this plugs in now is on the bottom and the only way to access the components uh, is from the bottom so this is actually the top right here this is the bottom so we're going to take this outside and uh but you can see all the dirt and dust and stuff from the water that i've had in there so far we're going to take this outside and we're going to focus in the lens together this should be a fun process so i'm going to bring my uh tripod outside and we'll have a little bit of fun so i'll see you guys in a sec all right so just show you guys what i got going on here i just made a quick box i'm just going to do this on the top of my car I made a quick box here and I punched a hole in it so that I could set the Gladius on top and the cable that will be connected to the bottom that will be able to insert down into the box here on the top where I've made the hole so I can plug it in, power it up, and then I'll be able to uh, turn my brightness up on my phone and focus the camera in and uh, should be good to go then. So let's get this underway here. So this is how it should look. I've got the cable punched in a hole through the box and then I've got the antennas on and we're ready to turn this on. And I should just be able to reach up and start twisting the camera to focus it. So I'm going to turn the app on in the screen recorder and let you guys see how this is done. So I'll see you guys in a sec. As you guys can see, we're running the app and the screen recorder at the same time. But as you guys can see, uh, the screen is horribly out. Uh, it's just uh, ridiculously blurry. So I'm actually going to put my hand in front of it. You should see it go in front. There you go. So you guys can see how blurry that is. Even though the image is upside down, we're still gonna focus it in. So I'm gonna grab the camera head here and I'm gonna twist. And we'll start going until we start seeing the lens focus. Oh, look, I focused in for close stuff now. Let's keep going here. Give it a sec, we gotta, I have no idea how far we have to take this. Things are starting to clear up. Check it out. Alright, let me have a look at that image. That is almost good here. Sorry guys, the image for me is upside down because the drone itself is upside down. So, let me see how... I think we are basically good to go here. That's me almost touching the lens and it's pretty clear. So that's how you focus the camera. First you had to remove the glue and go from there. Um, this is something you would normally have to send it back to Chasing Innovation. I'm a hobbyist, I fix my own stuff. Uh, it actually wasn't very hard to do. So um, I'm gonna play with it a little bit more, see if we can get it focused. But as you guys can see, that's how it's done. So basically I just came over here and I grabbed the camera lens after I got the glue removed and I just kept twisting until I saw it come back into focus. And then I just kept putting my hand up close to it to see how, you know, how it was gonna do up close. Now that's only three inches from it and that's pretty good. So even if I remove my hand, I can still see in the background very, very well. So, very cool guys. Just thought I'd show you how to do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it all back together. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Remember before putting it back together, before putting it back together, don't forget to drop more glue on top once you get it in focus because these motors do vibrate and you would hate this to come out of focus. Again, also don't forget to clean off your lens. I grabbed a little Windex, went ahead and cleaned off the lens just to make sure that when I do put it back together there's no smudges 
and uh, we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this O-ring back on there. I made sure not to touch any of it to be very careful to keep the watertight seal. I got any debris and stuff that might get back on there out of the way. So now we just pop it back on there and we're good to go. So, and there she is put back together. No issues. And uh, we should have a in focus camera now good to go. Should be 100% usable. I love the new software update by the way. The new software update is really nice compared to the old system. So, super cool. But that's how to put the focus back in the Gladius if you guys are having problems. Uh, this cap just pops off. Just put a little screwdriver behind it. Once you get the case apart, all you got to do is put a little uh, flathead screwdriver in between here and here and just slowly keep prying all the way around until you can get a hold of it and then it just pops right off and then you have access to the camera. Just make sure not to touch any of the Vaseline area, any of that stuff. Don't wipe any of the contents off, nothing. Make sure it stays lubricated. Uh, nicely that way when you put it back on you won't have to worry about the water seal being bad so should be good to go it's uh it's all back together a little bit of a job but good luck guys drone worship i'm out to do you